The catastrophe in the Gulf is not over, even after the spilling has stopped. But it's now clear that the Florida Keys dodged a bullet. It wasn't BP that saved the Keys and beyond, but a common natural event, an eddy in the infamous Gulf Loop current. This is David Mizajewski, naturalist with the National Wildlife Federation. The giant oil slicks drifting on the surface were just part of the story, the story that unfolded in front of the television cameras. Invisible to the eye and lurking deep in the water column were millions of gallons of toxic oil and dispersants. This massive plume of pollution was adrift and moving at the whim of the powerful oceanic currents like the loop current. And it enters into the Gulf through uh, in the southern side end, and then it moves north towards where the oil spill occurred. And then it loops around to the east and then south, but back out of the Gulf of Mexico into the North Atlantic. This important river of water within the Gulf can create circular eddies that spin off the main flow. But it's not quite as simple as that because the circulation is not steady. There are, high, there are uh, short time scale fluctuations due to weather. And so that moving on top of this circulation driven by the loop current can cause rapid dispersion. This summer, something remarkable and very timely happened. As you can see, a circular eddy formed at the top end of the loop current. This eddy trapped an unknown quantity of oil and dispersant in the center of the Gulf. If not for this event, massive amounts of this chemical pollution could have found its way out of the Gulf, along the Florida Keys, and up the eastern seaboard. The loop current and the Gulf Stream working together could have been the driving force to spread the pollution far and wide. Benjamin Franklin actually first described the, the path of the, the Gulf Stream with observations of temperature and ship drift. And it's unambiguous that, that the water in, from the Gulf of Mexico will eventually cross the Atlantic and end up in Ireland and Scotland and Iceland. This summer's surprise eddy in the loop current was good news for the Keys. But the toxic contaminants remain in the Gulf. How the oil and chemicals will affect the long-term health of the Gulf is unknown, and now the focus of ongoing research. We are at the post-spill stage trying to assess what the long-term effects are. So we have, an experiment, uh, we have an experiment in motion. Each component of the oil has a different degradation time. So there are some that will be re degraded relatively quickly. Some will be degraded on the order of days. And then there'll be others that will be degraded on the order of decades. The Keys may have dodged a bullet this summer, but the story continues. To learn more about the National Wildlife Federation's ongoing work to restore the Gulf, please visit nwf.org slash oilspill. It still remains to be seen how the lingering pollutants trapped by the Luke Current Eddy will impact the region and its wildlife in the future.